So this year I drew a Utah muzzleloader uh, elk tag. It took me 18 years to draw this tag. And uh, so I've been scouting all summer. I've spent about 47 days on the mountain. Luckily it's pretty close to home. I have found a lot of broken bulls, but uh, there's some still intact, but a lot of good options. And uh, there's one in particular, just a heavy, heavy bull. So just, I love the look at him. He's super heavy. So hopefully we get lucky. Opening morning, Utah muzzleloader elk hunt. Um, 18 points to draw, so it's been a little while coming. But uh, yeah, we're excited. Here, opening morning, ready to hike in, and uh, can already hear some bulls bugling, so it's a good sign. We'll go see what we can find. We've got several bulls right here. We're gonna try to glass them, see if we can glass them up. It's pretty thick though. But if we can pick them out, we could potentially get a stock or a shot. Um, there's a good bull in here, but uh, just ran through. I don't know what spooked him, but they ran through and couldn't get a shot at him. We're gonna hike into the same area that we were in this morning. We left two good bulls in here, so um, along with a bunch of others. And we'll see if we can relocate one of them and get lucky. Just heard a bugle, but it might be another hunter. We heard one in here this morning. Although that was really short and quiet. It's probably not another hunter. We're gonna go up a little farther. Just listen, kind of decide what we're doing on the fly.
was a close encounter right there. Uh, I was tempted just because Chris would have had the shot, but anyway, a little broken on that back right side. Let's go down just a little bit more. I mean, that guy was on top of this. There's another bull. No, I got it. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. Hey, willowy too, but pretty. Yeah, real pretty. setup it's just so thick they'd have to come through a tiny tiny opening to get a shot yeah we're gonna back out just leave them alone and come back I think they'll still be here another morning okay we're gonna go back in this morning same place we were yesterday we're gonna set up right in the bottom there were a lot of elk so we're gonna set up right right in like the middle of where all the elk were I can't see what he is yet. There he is, I see him. Oh, I can pound him right now. Smaller bull. Oh, I think they're doing a lot of what he's doing. just glassed up a really big bull. He's across the canyon, just a little bit too far away to shoot, but um, we're gonna watch him, see what he does, and uh, probably come back tonight.
Parker's gonna peek over. Right here, we can hear him bugling already. Let's see if we can pick him up. There's another bull down in it to the, yeah. Can you see him? Well, another day in the books. Didn't come together, but hopefully it will tomorrow. My favorite thing about elk hunting is the sound, and you just never get sick of the sound. Bugles, the excitement of getting in close on a bull, and you're just, you're right next to him, and it's just it's exciting as heck. We're gonna set up the glass. It's real thick, he's with a bunch of cows, so we're gonna just try to get in on him. Get on him right here. I'm gonna put on these extensions. I can't see him. Hey, he moved. I got it. We just lost sight of him. He's in the thick stuff. We're gonna go down there and get on him. I got him. I got him. He's down. It's a good bull, John. Well, we hiked in this morning. Bulls were bugling again, and this time we've been waiting for him to get right down the bottom so we could get a good shot because it's so thick everywhere else. And right away, Chris spotted uh, cows in the bottom. So we set up, got on him, and uh, got, got him down. It was awesome. Like, I couldn't be happier. I haven't put my hands on him yet, so he's, he's just mass, massive. Oh, his fifths are awesome too. Dude! <laughs> his thirds are phenomenal. Beautiful bull. Dude, that's a freaking toad. Oh. oh my gosh. This is the bull that ran through the bottom the other day. That yeah, we were like. A good look at. Oh. oh my gosh. He's big as a horse, man. He's so big. How's it feel to punch your tag? It feels pretty awesome. 
it's like full of a lifetime punching the tag. So it was worth the 18 years. First load. I'm bringing the horses back in and we'll get another load. Hope you enjoyed that hunt. It was definitely a hunt of a lifetime for me. And uh, there was so much more that went into it than, than we could get on video or fit in it. If you'd like to hear kind of more behind the scenes, we did a whole podcast episode with a bunch of elk stories and, and detailed everything that went into that hunt. If you'd like to listen to it, it's the Epic Outdoors podcast. Just search Epic Outdoors podcast on any popular uh, podcast app and go to episode 217. My specific story starts about 39 minutes in, and uh, but you'll definitely wanna to listen to the whole thing. Just lots of cool elk uh, content on there. Uh, and here at Epic Outdoors, we help you build points, hunt out of state, get on hunts like this, hunt of a lifetime. It took me 18 points, but there are tons of different opportunities for mule deer and elk that we can help you unlock by knowing where the opportunities are, which states you should be applying in for, which states you should be getting points for, which states don't take any points and that you could just draw a random you know, tag and have, have possibly a similar hunt, hunt of a lifetime. You know, it's just, if you're not applying, you're gonna miss those type of opportunities. And that's what we do. We help you find those opportunities. So check out our website, epicoutdoors.com, or just give us a call, 435 Two six three zero seven seven seven. Hey everybody, it's Devin Archibald here with Epic Outdoors and Epic Optics. Just out here uh, finishing up our morning uh, glassing and uh, just want to talk about optics. And, uh, we don't go anywhere without good quality optics. We kind of live and die by them out here in the West. So if you're interested in getting some optics, whether it be binocular spotting scope, range finders, uh, we carry most major brands. We carry Vortex, Leica, Zeiss, Swarovski, and Sig Sauer. If you're in the market for some new optics, give us a call, 435-263-0777 for the best pricing in the industry.